Welcome back, everyone. We've been playing Where's Mikey all morning, and I have my big reveal right now. We are at the Wilkinsburg train station, which is now the new Wilkinsburg train station, which is a national historic landmark. And I'm here with Ann Elise Morris, who is the president of the Wilkinsburg Historical Society. And this place is fabulous. Tell us about the history of it. This place was built in 1916 and it was this, uh, the hub of the town. It was where everyone came to get on the train to go locally to, Sw to Swissville, to Sh Squirrel Hill, to East Liberty or downtown Pittsburgh, or a longer commuter trip all the way to Harrisburg or Philadelphia. You can go all the way to Philadelphia? Wow. Absolutely, from right here. Yeah, and uh, so we're looking at pictures here and I mean, it, it looks beautiful. I mean, it really looks like this place was very busy. It was tremendously busy. Thousands of people took the train from the Wil Wilkinsburg area to travel. Yeah. And so what happened to this place? Well, for 50 years, it was fabulous and busy. And then people moved to the suburbs. A lot of people got their own vehicles. Their jobs weren't all related to downtown. They knew they had jobs in the suburbs. So yeah. the commuter train stopped. They, they quit servicing that in about the mid 60s. And also the building, I mean, it was very dilapidated. I mean, there were vines on the outside of the building and inside, it was a mess. It truly was a mess. The, the problem was the, the roof leaked, the roof caved in, vandals got in, snow, the weather, it was terrible. A lot of damage occurred from the weather yeah, and even the roof as well. I mean, it, it was pretty bad. Most of the roof was gone. Yeah. So, of course, there was a tremendous amount of work to restore this building. But restore we did. Yeah, and speaking of restoration, this place looks fabulous. And I'm looking through these doors right here. And this is where people would go to catch the train. Yes. They would come through this main lobby into the secondary lobby and then down the steps and then uh, back up the steps on the other side to get to the, tr the passenger platforms. Yeah, that's really good. And then also, I can't help but to, to notice all of the beautiful marble. This marble is fabulous. And about half of it is original. Maybe three-fourths of it's original. But the rest of it had to be replaced because over the years, between the, the, the water incursion, the marble fell off the walls. It was cracked and broken. So the marble that you're seeing now was brought from Italy, from the exact same quarry that the original marble came from 100 years ago. Yeah, that's great. And we're also standing in front of the ticket windows, too. <laughs> Those were the ticket windows where you would buy your ticket to wherever you were going. And now we're hoping that that would be where you would order your food from the restaurant that this is hopefully going to be. Yeah, and speaking of restaurant, you guys are going to really do some great stuff with this space. Oh, there's so, so much potential here. Maybe a high-end restaurant, perhaps a venue. Uh, there's a lot of people interested in it, so it's ready to be leased. All right, well, thank you so much, Anne. This place is wonderful and it looks great. Heather, David, did you guess where I was? Well, at least Heather, did you guess where I was? You know what, I saw that guest come in and I had no idea. It is a beautiful building. Yeah. David did know he, he acted accidentally saw no, this No, really accidentally. <laughs> no, I just happened to see. But I'm so glad that we were there because yeah. what a wonderful story to tell, Mikey, of the restoration. Right. And people don't necessarily know the history. And we want to give a shout out to Judy on Facebook who guessed it correctly. Way to go, Judy. Way to go, Judy. Go, Judy. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Mikey. Thanks for showing us Thank around. You. We appreciate it. And all of our thanks to all of you at home who played along with us. We love playing Where's Mikey. It sees mm -hmm. everybody who's watching at home. And if you have any ideas for a future Where's Mikey, send them to us, and David and I will try. David will try not to peek. I didn't, didn't try to peek this time. It was such an accident, uh, I swear. Uh, uh, all right, uh, honest. All right, coming up here on PTL, it's really the most wonderful show of the year, a beautiful holiday tradition for all of us here in Pittsburgh. One child's incredible story and the heroes who made it their mission to save him. That's coming up next.